Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix and here on Neutralix, our job is to help you improve up our holo. So that's exactly what we did today. So basically, I got coaching on Kozlix.com. If you wanna be personally coached, go check that out. And a low platinum, high gold player reached out to me, paid for the 30 minute session, and that's what this video is. There's a lot of material here, especially if you're gold, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to Neutralix again if you wanna improve up our holo. And I hope you enjoy the video plat and so your goal is diamond yes oh 1739 is just plat yeah 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 it's like the beginning of the plat nice who do you uh who do you mean um i mean mordix and koji but i use artemis and uh Link. okay so then you're a scythe player that likes to play koji yes nice. <laughs> just double checking so um uh what's like the overall goal like when you bought the session, what, what do you have in mind? Just diamond or anything um, past that? Well, I just want to really get as good as I can. Um, I'll be wanting to enter tournaments and stuff. I'll be watching, like, I've watched you play uh, a lot Thank of times. So, like, I've, I've watched, like, you know, Sandstorm, all of them, mm -hmm. and maybe get there one day. But I know it's like a, a small, I mean, well, I know it's like a long journey. So, yeah. just trying to get, like, some stepping tools to get there. It's a long journey, but if it makes you feel better, um, uh, anyone can get to the top. Like, fun fact, my left eye is blind, so I'm oh, like, wow, yeah, so I'm like slightly disabled and got to the top. Uh, yeah. So literally anyone can get to the top. Uh, so definitely you're more likely than me. Um, <laughs> it's just hard work and consistency for sure. And you'll make right. it. Um, so. I guess the goal for this session is we're going to try and figure out, we're going to analyze the gameplay and then figure out the best way, like the, the number, like the quickest way to improve and let's get you to diamond. Okay. I'm going to share my whole screen um, okay. uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay. You see my screen? Yes. Great. Okay. Let's give it a watch. Just a reminder, Three, two, if there's like people one, watching, you're the Artemis. Okay. Okay. Not so bad, like, I'm not gonna overanalyze. There's just little stuff like that, uh, it's totally yeah. fine. You, you just got too close to him, like, I'm not gonna... Yeah. You know. Good dare. Uh, you know the Lance Shoe combos? Uh, I know the... the Psylite dare, Psylite dare. I know the Psylite Sayer. Um, Sidelight Nair recovery. I know those. Like, do you know which know ones those, are like true combos and which ones aren't? No. <clears throat> okay. So that's the number one thing. N not necessarily the number one thing to improve, but you just need to know this kind of stuff because mm -hmm. basically you're giving up free damage every time you don't go for a combo, especially the one that makes sense in that situation. So in this situation, they're in white. So you can either do two things. And you can go for side light neutral air, true combo, or you go for side light downer. Side light downer is better in ones because you're going to be in a better spot to follow up after. Uh, it, it's also a string starter. Side light there, end light is one dodge frame that most people at your elo probably won't even dodge it. Okay. And that's like a three hit combo. Like that's, and it's insane damage too. The dare does like 18, the end light does like 18, the side light does like 11. So that itself is like 47 damage. <laughs> It's okay. absurd, yeah. So definitely just like you see like that side light, it's like eleven damage, you're giving up a free eighteen after that. That's almost like double it. Yeah. There it's good. Good near. I like the movement. Your movement's actually very solid. Thank you. Was... So one thing in general that I think is gonna help you a lot is let's Talk about like a really basic thing. If you were to describe to me, how do you win at Brawlhalla? Like I'm someone new, like how would you win every single time? Almost like, I don't know if you're familiar with like programming, but if you were to like program an AI, like how to win, like the most mm -hmm. basic essential. Can um, you think of like a way to describe it? If not, I can step in. Um, punishes. I think punishes is like the main, well, I won't, I would say it's like one of the main things, but I think punishes okay. and like accuracy. So then, the things. we'll start with punishes. So how do you punish? Um, 
I guess after somebody, well, not I guess, but after somebody whiffs, um, okay. punishing with yeah. a combo. So then how do you get someone to whiff? With movement. How specifically? Because movement is very vague. Um, With the movement and the way that you dodge. Okay. Well, yeah, like dodging and changing up your dodges and things like that. So we're kind of baiting them to attack mm -hmm. using, yeah, movement, not being too close to them, whatnot. But it's almost like a three-step plan where it's like, number one, we get them to miss. Number mm -hmm. two, we decide if we can punish it or not. Some things, sometimes they whiff and you, you can't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. And then number three, you decide if you can combo or not. If you combo, you keep going. If you can't, you don't keep going. Then there's reads and strings and whatnot and optimal ways. Each step has a way to optimize it, but let's kind of focus on the accuracy of just doing those three steps. So first we need to get them to miss their attack. So you can do that through movement or baits or whatever. Then we need to punish, and then we just hit a very basic combo. So we talked about the combos. We need to make sure that we hit those sideline nares and whatnot. Just what I'd recommend is before playing either in the mornings not mornings but like when you first launch the game try and do every useful true combo on the weapons you care about 10 times mm -hmm. in a row true so scythe doesn't really have that it's more the strings but then those one dodge frame strings like side light and light make sure you can yeah. hit get that to like one dodge frame 10 times in a row mm -hmm. and that okay. stuff's just really important just because you're throwing away free damage okay. um and then number two Let's really focus in terms of attack accuracy, which you mentioned, which is amazing. I love that you mentioned that um, uh, on the three step plan where it's we need to get them the whiff. So right here in this situation, if we're talking about that three step plan, let's think of it through that lens. Right. So okay. the delight. OK, so you got on the miss. You decide, can I punish? You can't punish. You didn't. Good. And then this dare. You're kind of throwing it out kind of hoping he runs into it maybe it doesn't really pick up directly below okay. so it's kind of like praying that they run into it you know what i mean it's a bit random yeah. less accurate so really yeah. focusing on that accuracy you didn't try and punish that that's fine this side sig same thing like you're basically praying to this queen eye player you're on your knees telling the queen eye player run at me <laughs> like fall into it you know what i mean like, yeah you're that just true, though. <laughs> yeah you're, you're you're guessing like you're yeah so the smarter thing is like okay do the side sig when they're in that position i guess like if they're right next to you they can't react to it but in this position they're far enough away they can hear that sound effect like you hear it like almost right away yeah. you see it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen frames for it to yeah. reach where the queen eye was okay, okay 18 frames that's like 300 milliseconds they can react to that kind of thing okay so it's yeah it's the same thing with attack accuracy same thing with this neutral air where like how far away you are yeah so it's just like making that decision, just being a little bit more accurate. So kind of like focusing on that three-step plan. It's the same thing here. <laughs> you input it here. Yeah. Okay. You see the mistake. It, it yeah. worked, but against yeah. any competent player. Yeah. Yeah. That nair is fine. It's hard for them to punish. In movement, in neutral, you're actually jumping a lot here. I'd recommend almost staying a bit closer to the ground. And the reason for this is you actually have options. So this down sig right here, mm -hmm. do you know why you got hit by it? Um, because I fast forward into it? Not or exactly. I, I don't think I had any more options at that point. You had a dodge, but you're right. Yeah, you, you wasted one jump, two jump, three jumps. Just like yeah. that right yeah and then you kind of fell into it so the three-step plan and it's also like a priority list because it, it happens in a row step one avoid their attacks no matter what so okay. in this situation right we want to pressure with movement which is great you got that knowledge but then we want to avoid their attacks so kind of doing whatever it takes going all the way up here and like wasting your options being closer to the ground is a lot safer the moment you're like two jumps now you're starting to waste stuff to land again it's a disadvantaged mm -hmm. state okay so being within one jump height 
while accomplishing the three steps is really useful. And so like, yeah, really focus on avoiding people's attacks there. That was good, good Nair. That's fine, good recovery, love to see it. And then that NSIG is fine because you didn't get punished, but still a little risky, but yeah. It's totally, it, that was fine, they're a bit further away. That's fine. You can go for SIGs if you can't get punished. As long as you can't get punished, that's like a bait. Because you, you fall backwards. But it's just the SIGs yeah. that are like punishable and risky. It's like step one, avoid getting hit. Like we just don't want to get hit. We want to hit them more than they hit you kind of thing. And then, yeah, same thing here. If you're like prioritizing avoiding getting hit, like that's step one. It's like, mm -hmm. think to yourself, avoid getting hit. So if you thought that in the moment, look how many frames you have to react to this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You see what I mean? 24. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're really focused on that step one, you're going to be able to avoid this attack. And then you might even get punished for it, and you wouldn't have lost the first stock of this game. Okay. Another thing to note that helped me is the thought that getting better at Brawlhalla is really fucking easy. Like, it in terms of you don't need to like it's not about the little things that are really hard like what sandstorm does and whatnot like these pros can win with their eyes closed because yeah. it's just like it's a game plan thing so if you really focus on the three steps plus the true combos but more specifically those three steps will take you a long way um uh, it'll become like second nature to you and then it's easy but also just like those three steps, like avoid getting hit, it gets easy if you're far away from people. Okay. So there's ways of slowing the game down. You don't need to run, but it's like, don't get too close. You know, the, the, the kind of obvious things. How do you avoid your opponent? Yeah, okay. And you'll see what I mean. It's like, okay, step one's avoid getting hit. Step two, punish question mark. So he did an end light. You have the question in your mind, should I punish this neutral light? Katars are really fast. I probably wouldn't. You went for a dash side light. They tried to dare. Okay, can you punish this Katar down there? You kind of got lost in the sauce here. And then you got a dare after, which is nice. But um, uh, definitely just like that decision of like, how do I avoid? How do I punish? Part of the three steps. That seems to be a common theme. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a crazy dodge. You're actually cracked for dodging that. <laughs> Okay. And then yeah, same thing here. I, I guess you were trying to punish a landing, because you yeah, can see where you. Yeah, but it's still like you're praying that they're landing. Yeah, and that's a yeah. common theme. Where it's like the punishes are more calculated and safe. That's totally fine. This is you getting a little too scared. Um, one thing. Oh, you kind of like dodged upwards and you still could have stared. You just got like even more uncomfortable. So you jumped one more time. Yeah. It's totally fine. But um, uh, that just comes from experience and like getting good at that step one of avoiding people. You'll kind of get good the more you think about it and just consistency. You don't need to play this game a lot. Like you could play 10 minutes of Brawlhalla a day or... Okay. 30 minutes every other day or something like that like it, it's not so much about the quantity which a lot of people think it's just like consistently focusing on what matters and just okay. getting into that routine do you play the game a lot um so i wasn't playing a lot at first but recently like i've bought a pc for just for this game and like everything so w. recently i've been taking it like like way more seriously and just trying harder so nice I've been a lot of hours in now Nice. Yeah, just stay consistent. If you play yeah. too much, it could burn you out. Um, so just okay. keep having fun with it. Uh, um, uh, and yeah, you're doing the right thing right now. Just keep okay. it up. When you hit diamond, definitely I recommend playing tournaments. That will really help with the consistency. Okay. And yeah, the quest to get diamond should also help with the consistency for now. Yeah. Until you, yeah. Yeah. Which is good. I also think like your movement's good, um, but there's definitely things that you can improve on. I'm gonna send a movement tips video. Like one thing which I've been practicing a lot is the dash landings. Are you familiar with like the changes they made? Um, no, I'm not. Okay, 
So basically what they did was when you're landing on the ground, basically mm -hmm. when you land, there's four landing frames. But what they did was if you dash, you now remove the frames. Just like if you attack, you can remove those frames. So now mm -hmm. it's really fast. Like we're talking about baiting with movement. Let's say, for instance, they're here. You want to bait with movement. You could like dash in, dash out really fast now. Uh, oh yes okay now i have noticed that in game i didn't know that they made that change but in game i mm -hmm. have noticed that so i'm gonna show you it's just a movement tips video that will help with it um okay. it's the same idea as dash dancing you dash in you back dash out but back dash mm -hmm. is just slower than dash jumping out dash okay. jumping is the fastest way to move in brahala um, okay so uh, i'll show you that that should help with the movement then you focus on the three steps and you just practice those true combos like those three alone will take you really far okay so i'm gonna write that down in the notes so we got this three-step plan and then practice movement i'll say specifically the dash jump i'm gonna put in brackets dash landings okay. it's essentially just landing it's doing a dash when you land okay you can also change the direction like getting good at that at your skill level is like huge how i like to like relate it to some people that don't fully get it i know i know you get it but mm -hmm. basically if you're playing like soccer or a sport that requires mm -hmm. like running it's like without using it is like walking using it is running <laughs> and like okay. when you're walking and playing soccer you don't have as many options as running because you can't get from point a to point b like you know that question like can you punish well, yeah. you can punish if you can get there quicker. And so then that's going to give you more opportunity. Okay. So, yeah, that'll be huge. Just to show like how like useful it is. Good end light and air. I like that you didn't even go for follow up. Just kind of reacting to them doing stuff. This end sig is like praying <laughs> they run into you. Same thing. So yeah, definitely focusing on that three-step plan throughout the entire game. And then that same question, can you punish question mark? Well, they're moving all the way to the left. So it's kind of hard to punish it. And then you can't. And then same thing here, you're praying they just run into it. Because you need to get them to miss. Same thing. Glad you didn't get punished for it. That was a bait. And then there, if you end light it instead, that's one dodge frame. I wouldn't have side lighted. Anything that isn't like a tight string, they're just gonna dodge out of it. I yeah. would do like basically at your elo, do the true combos or really tight strings, one or two dodge frames max, and then I wouldn't follow up. And then okay. once you get good at this other stuff, then I'd focusing on how do you follow up optimally. So it's like that three step plan, we wanna target the most important. So right now we wanna really focus on step one and step two step okay. three we can do fine for now just do the true combo and tight string but then in the future if you really enjoyed this session you can get another one when you're diamond and then we'll like really focus on step three okay okay we're almost like we're already halfway down the game this was good yeah. it was just a decision if you had like lance then the side light makes sense but the unarmed side yeah. light is yeah unfortunate that's fine. It comes from experience. This downlight was crazy. Oh my. You see that spear in there? I would have been frightened. And the fact that that hit? Oh my god. The... You hit him with your crotch. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would have downlighted here, but... Ah, it worked. You, you, you couldn't even believe it worked because you didn't combo off it. <laughs> okay. And then unarmed Sarek. You're a mad lad. And then the NSIG randomly too. This is just mad man. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even need to say it. You get it. <laughs> oh, and right here. If you're going to go for Enlight Nair, since it's not a true combo, just Enlight NSIG. That shit is broken on Artemis. Okay. If you just want a free kill option, boom, boom, tight string. They covers jumps. It's easy. Because okay. in there, they didn't really do much. Kind of set up yeah. to the end sig, but yeah, yeah. That's like a little thing. Now, don't don't focus on that. W. I didn't kill. 
The open throw is a bit questionable. What I would have done here, this is more of an experience thing. I'm not, you don't need to like really hyper fixate on this. Okay. You see how he like GC'd the end sig? Yeah. If you notice, he's like, hey, he doesn't have a dodge. And that was his last jump. Oh, right. I didn't even. He just had a recovery right. and a dodge. So then when you saw the dodge, you could have dared. And then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's more like really like that's diamond level stuff it's yeah. fine what you did like there's no wrong like doing nothing is never the wrong answer because now it's even it's still a 50 50 but that's just like a smaller way to improve we focus on the essentials and then that little stuff of like oh they don't have a dodge that's like step three and how do you like okay. really make the most of winning neutral okay um which I, again yeah we can talk about it later but or like another time once you hit diamond or high plot or something like that for now okay. you should not be sidelining here <laughs> this is the more important matter where it's like okay. you're praying he runs into it yeah yeah all i did was backdash yeah. and then yeah and that's crazy that that like one step if you like really just focus on that like that one step the step one and two it's like get them to miss before like you make yourself vulnerable which there you didn't and then punish okay. question mark you lost in step one. If you got really good at that step one, you're winning this game. Okay. Like it was like that, that one interaction, but it was so important. Good deal at recovery. That's a tie game. But you could have been like getting a lead and whatnot. Like after the session should be better. Yeah. And then that's where the Lance true combos need to, you, you gotta learn the true combos. That's okay. free damage. If you hit the combos at the start of this, and here, you'd be winning by like a lot. Because Lance does so much damage. <laughs> okay. Nair. It's fine. A little bit of mashing. The Nair is fine because they're unarmed. They're probably not going to be able to punish it. The D Light's still mashing. They are unarmed, so it's somewhat fine. This is fine. This is where, like, okay, you got to avoid their attack. You just got a little too close to them. You, like, yeah. just dash forward a little bit instead of prioritizing to avoid it. And you just have to backdash out. A bit unfortunate. Oof. Do you know what you do here? No. Dash side light. So that's like the punish question mark. So like right here, you dodged. That got him to miss. And then we just need to dash side light. I want you to actually watch. There's a video from Stingray that he did that's really great. Um, uh, mm -hmm. We're basically, it's just like, how do you get diamond? And the biggest thing is that like people at your skill level will just throw out really dumb moves. So it's just like avoiding that and then just being like grounded and having, and you were grounded here. It's just like, just knowing to dash side light and said, this jump is like, I don't know what the point of it was. Like, could you explain the thought process or? Um, honestly, I don't know. When I I when I be playing I just be I won't say I just be playing but like I just be locked into the game. So mm -hmm. here I was probably there's one one, so I will say I was playing kinda nervously also. So oh, okay. um and he was also doing the that stupid instant ground pound with the spear. Um so I was also trying to avoid that. Was that later on in the match? No, that was before. He did it like three times on the second stock. Oh, okay. Yeah, it definitely like the conditioning and getting nervous in the last talk it happens one mm -hmm. um one thing that helps me especially when i was like plat getting diamond for the first time i this sounds dumb but i thought of myself like i'm the character and if you're mm -hmm. the character every time you get hit it fucking hurts <laughs> you you die you're dead right so yeah. it's like if you're in a fight to the death yeah <laughs> right <laughs> try, try and think like that almost where it's like oh this guy just made it invulnerable he, he's stuck he he's, he's stuck to the ground for a full second because side light is so long i'm gonna punch him <laughs> right like pretend you're like boxing almost okay and that that okay. will also help with step one like you do not want to get hit you don't want to get smacked right. in the face right okay okay yeah And then, yeah, definitely the dash landing, practicing movement between stocks. So I'm going to write that down. It, it's not going to help you right away, but if you just do it a lot, it's going to get added to your gameplay naturally. And then you're going to, like, see the path on how to add it. 
I, okay. I, it's hard to visually describe, but I'm just going to say like practice movement, but specifically what I like to do them, I, I call them a hand warmers where you can do them between stocks. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy's respawning. I'm just going to dash dance. Oh, he's respawning. I'm going to dash landing dance or whatever. There's a ton of okay. dash stuff that you can do. I'll send a, a tips video. Okay. I'm going to put in brackets between stocks just okay. to reference in the notes. Um, or like whenever you're waiting for a match, dash dance or then like do your thing. It'll just teach you how to run. It's like walk, it's running for the first time. It's like a, a kid walking for the first time. We, we do a couple steps, do it before, and we put you into a fight when you learn how to do it. <laughs> Not actually, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That was perfect. See, if you did that when they did the spear da side light, and then side light there, easy. And then you could have end lighted there. That's that's free damage. You do know the lance combos. Easy side sig. See, this is good actually, because they have no dodge. Mm -hmm. So then they can't really like avoid the side sig. Also, look how close they are and like running into it. That that's a yeah. lot better than when they're further yeah. away, hoping they run into it. So that was W. Here, I, it's like, also in terms of positioning, right here, when you're like directly below, Spear like mm -hmm. can punch you in the face with its dare. It's it's a broken mm -hmm. dare. So then just moving away from it vertically to know that it can come. Where here, you kind of like, you didn't really jump into it, but you could have just like, at this point, when you're still looking to the left, just dash left. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's like that number one, like you do not want to get punched in the face. Okay. But it's fine. E, you know the combos. W. I probably, in this small situation, I probably would have actually nared just because they're an orange. Nair can mm -hmm. set up into jump stare. Um, okay. We're not going to focus on that too, too much. Just doing the combos. This isn't a bad option. You have stage control, advantage state. This is a W. So. And then you have same thing here. You kind of just got punched in the face because look how close you got with your. Did you? Is this an end sig? This is an end sig. <laughs> oh no. Nah. See, instead of end sigging, if you're thinking in your head, I do not want to get punched in the face. He does a stupid GC side sig. That's a free lance side air. If you just jump over it, then you stare. Okay. Or like, what if instead in this situation? You're like, hey, instead of end sigging, I'm gonna jump avoid this, get directly above him, I'm gonna ground pound him, and guess what? He's an orange. He's dead. Yeah. You win the game. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then yeah, same thing. Look how far away he is when you're side sigging and in the air too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just again like praying. Yeah. Good downer, I like it. Same thing where it's like you just don't really want to be stacked and right next to them. I see the instant ground pounds we're talking about, but even the Sare, it's like, okay, you decided to Sare right here. And then it's like, okay, why did you Sare? And you kind of just were praying that they jump into it. I don't know. It's just a little random. But it's like, imagine you're in like a, a boxing fight and Jake Paul is like just throwing out random punches. He's just gonna punch him in the face. Like, that's what he, the Queen Eye did to you. Yeah. W recovery. Oh no, you lost this. Let's see. See, this end light was just a little slow, so that, like, step two, punish question mark, the end light, you're already, like, you're, you're facing to the right. You're not even turned around to him. Oh, you do, like, turn around frame one, but still, it was just a little slow. Yeah. Um, uh, so again, the experience of like, hey, I'm a little slow, I can't punish. Oof, you could have punished that. That's fine. Yeah. At least, see, even if you miss a punish, at least you don't get hit afterwards. As long as, yeah. like, you're doing it fast enough. I, I don't know. Like, you have to be careful not to fully miss a punish that's really punishable. But he didn't take you here, so I'm not going to get that mad. But you just don't want to miss those punishes. Okay. Here you're really scared of him. Look at you jumping. Yeah. You're yeah, really was, wasting yeah, options. Yeah, Definitely Katars can be scary, but if you're on the ground right here and he's like right next to you, I know the side sig, it's not good when he's far away from you, but
but at this position, no chance he's avoiding it. You just go dash sides. And like, there, there's something in Brahala called a reactable zone and an unreactable. He, both you two are in the unreactable zone. It's not humanly possible to react to what's happening. So the only way to avoid it is predetermined movement, like a jump or uh, something like that. This guy is standing still. If they're standing still, that is go time. You just like, boom, really fast. It has to be really fast. That's like, again, it's it's a bit more advanced. You don't need to fully focus on it, but you don't want to be scared in this situation. You want to be on the stage grounded. That was a good dare. But then, yeah, exactly here. Ooh, that I'm wins you the game. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was at, I, that was a missing play. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it meant it to be a side sig the other way, you just yeah. missed and put it. Yeah. But then, yeah, same thing, being accurate, so really focusing on the accuracy. This is a crazy end sig. You didn't get punished for it, because look how far away you are, so it's not the worst yeah. thing in the world, but I, I just don't recommend it. Unfortunate. Ooh. So here, Okay, you didn't do a bad thing, honestly. This isn't super bad. It's just an unlucky, like, situation. But I would just take the free stage control. When this guy's, like, doing this, obviously avoid it, which you did. But, like... Oh, you did two jumps really fast. So one thing here, this is a small habit. It's not gonna, like... If you play longer, you're gonna, like, fix this automatically. But... You see, you jumped here, one jump, and then you jumped again really quickly. You jumped again here before you got the yeah. max height where you could have, like, jumped and then, like, dodged through the down sig or noticed that they released it. Like, they released it down here. So you just jump. The goal here is you want to get to stage if yeah. you're not so comfortable off stage where that lance recovery just kind of, like, screws you over. But I'm not so mad at that situation. More the, like, smaller stuff that we talked about, like, the three steps and being accurate with those and not the random sigs and then the lance true combos if you did that kind of stuff this wouldn't have been a close game okay so in general um practice every useful true combo 10 times in a row as warm-up okay um uh focus on the three-step plan avoid opponent's attack punish question mark if you can't punish don't and then number three, true combo or tight string only. And then practice movement between stocks, specifically the dash jump landings or the dash landing. Okay, yeah, let me show you in game really quick. Training. Macho man. I actually did like a, a video on Twitter showcasing it or X or whatever, but um, take a look at this. So like you can run across the stage, that's running, this is walking. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Do you see how like fast that is? Yeah. So this is the dance I want you to do. It's just a dash jump dance, and you can get this thing like super low. It's crazy. Oh yeah. If you get really good at this thing, and then you focus on those three other things, guarantee diamond. Okay. And it's just all you have to do. It's a dash jump, fast fall, back and forth, and you can do this faster and faster i can't even do it optimally it's, it's ridiculous how high the skill ceiling is on this one input yeah like you can yeah. see this is like slow and then like yeah. it's like crazy <laughs> and then this is like really slow yeah so if you get good at this oh my god so it's just dash jump and then you see on the landing look at this you like snap to the stage yeah take a, take a look at this right here in the air already into a dash like yeah. you skip the frames yeah that's quick yeah so imagine you're in neutral and then step one avoid getting hit okay so we want to get them to miss we do this <laughs> it's like <Yeah. laughs> it's like it's like you can hit me no you can't you can hit me no you can't it's like just yeah. making them so uncomfortable okay you're almost like a fly in their personal space and then you just like leave and then you're like ah <laughs> Um, so yeah, and you don't need the movement to get them to miss, but like practicing this movement will also help you stay more on the ground, which will give you more options and just a better position. One other thing that like helped me is that like, this is later on, like once you hit like 
like higher plat and whatnot but that mm -hmm. punish question mark the can you punish if you can punish with a combo starter you're doing double maybe triple the damage and then like if you're in the air and you get one sare right mm -hmm. one sare is one third of this shit yeah. so this dash okay. stuff it will help you set up the skills to know how to play on the ground to be able to do that thing later, which you can focus on then. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to practice it. Awesome. I'm going to send over these uh, these things really quick. Okay. Should I just be in DMs? Okay, that did not do it properly. Let me resend. There we go. So. Okay. Once again, 10 times true combo warm up. If you need to watch Lance guides and whatnot to learn all the combos, you can. But long story short, it's just side light there and side light nair are the only true combos you need to know. And then to kill, side light recovery and side light sair. That's it. Okay. Um, okay. Well, that sounds good. I'm going to look at everything. I'm going to watch the videos as soon as we get off of this, actually. Awesome. Do you, um, do you have any questions, by the way? um no i don't think i i think you yeah i think you covered everything I, i'm gonna ask more questions once i get higher awesome yeah feel free to ask any questions this discord is like a resource for anyone that's paid for any of the coaching so ask any okay.